Wikipedia's results come back to us in an order that probably seems random, but it's actually sorted according to their internal page ID. That doesn't help us though, because users will just look at the results and think they're random. To fix this, we're going to sort the results. And rather than just provide an inline closure to sorted, we are instead going to make our page struct conform to comparable. This is actually pretty easy to do, because you already have a title string that would make a great candidate for sorting. So start by modifying the definition of the page struct to this. I'll add comparable. If you recall, conforming to comparable has only a single requirement. We must implement a less than function that accepts two parameters of the type of our struct and returns true if the first should be sorted before the second. In this case, we can just pass the test directly onto the title strings. So add this method to the page struct now. Static func less than, LHS page, RHS page returns bool. LHS.title is less than RHS.title. Now that Swift understands how to sort pages, it'll automatically give us a parameterless sorted method on page arrays. This means when we set self.pages in fetch nearby places, we can now add sorted to the end, like this. Dot sorted. If you're on the app now, you'll see that places near a map pin are now sorted alphabetically by their name. Much better. Before we're done with the screen, we have to replace the text view that says page description here with something real. Wikipedia's JSON data does contain a description, but it's buried. The terms dictionary might not be there. And if it is there, it might not have a description key. And if it has a description key, it might be an empty array rather than an array with some text inside. We don't want this mess to plague our Swift UI code. So again, the best thing to do is make a computed property that returns the description if it exists or a fixed string otherwise. Add this to the page struct to finish it off. Var description, string, terms question mark, description question mark, dot first, or no further information. With that done, you can replace the page description here text with this, text page.description. And that completes edit view. It lets us edit the two properties of our annotation views. It downloads and sorts data from Wikipedia. It shows different UI depending on how the network request is going. And it even carefully looks through the Wikipedia content to decide what can be shown.